Mach B! Ooh, if you thought the Big Boy Saga was full of Big Boy episodes, this is like a Giganto Boy episode. <laughs> this is like Fat Albert. And yeah, ironically, is... the Big Boy himself is not here today. He's still asleep. He's asleep. What a this scammer. Is a, this episode's size compares to that of large Rebecca's. <laughs> large Rebecca, that's <laughs> Alright, anyway, we're gonna do some legendary hunting. This might be an extra large Rebecca. So we need to go to Johto <laughs> to start hunting the Roman legendaries, and the fastest way to do that is to the take Roman the Shinkansen. Not the Roman Catholics, but the Roman legendaries. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna assume that Carrie uh, didn't hear what I said, but we're taking the Shinkansen. I heard it. Shinkansen. Shinkansen. I met this guy yesterday, who's going on a two-week trip to Japan, and I double-checked to make sure he was going to ride the Shinkansen, and he he will be. I'm glad. I'm glad that this person I have no idea who he is is going to ride the same train that I was. <laughs> He's going to go to the you know that that forest. That's a tiny Shinkansen. The one next to Mount Fuji? The Suicide Forest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that's next to Mount Fuji, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, so. yeah, it's nearby. Ride, yeah, he was it's gonna nearby ride Mount the Fuji. There. It's nearby Mount it's Fuji. Also, I think it has a name other than the Suicide Forest. Oh, Kitahara. I mean, it's like... It's like in Japanese. Yeah. It's probably like forest in Japanese. <laughs> Yeah, you know, that like, happens the Sahara Desert. Sahara is Arabic. Yeah, desert. it's desert. The desert desert. It's called the, the Aokigahara, also known as the Sea of Trees, Jukai. You might think I'm hey. joking, but it actually literally only took me five minutes to find Raiko. Jeez, oh. oh my god. <laughs> like, they roam, like, the, 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 the roaming legendaries, they roam all over Johto, um... They, uh, like, whenever you move to a new location, they move, uh, to a, they also, like, move ahead one area. But if you use fly to fast travel to somewhere, their location completely resets. Um, so I actually just really got lucky here. And, of course, I'm going to use the Master Ball on one of these guys because, really, it's like, the, the roaming legendaries are the ones you want to use that on. Even if, yeah, well, like, you, you have of one of those... Use it on the one of the most difficult Pokemon to get, or you know you could just you could just use Professor Oak's advice from the uh, official Primate guide. That's all like, I recommend using it on a Pokemon you want to add to your team that's hard to catch, like a Fero. Well, <laughs> you know how hard Feros are to catch. <laughs> Yeah, I... Three days later. Was that literal? Three days later. Yes, it took me this long to find Entei. Oh. Hi, Entei. Wow, fancy. And the Look thing at that mustache is glorious. Yeah. And yeah, they always flee first chance they get. <laughs> yeah, it's, it always has like a special, uh, <laughs> a special music that plays there. Um. And yeah, you see, I've watered its health down a bit now. Mm. Yeah, it's uh. It's watered its health down. Yeah, I mean it's a fire type. <laughs> I added Raikou to the team because it's got, like, really good speed. It's a, as you would say, high velocity. <laughs> I was wondering where you're going with that. Yeah, isn't Cat. it crazy how uh, it took me three days in reality, but in the actual commentary it took, uh, four minutes? <laughs> Don't you yeah, love the wild. power of editing? Yep. Um... But the thing about the thing about the roaming legendaries is that um and Suicune in the crystal isn't roaming actually. Oh Suic yeah, that's yeah. right. Suicune doesn't ro in gold and silver Suicune is roaming Johto, but in crystal mm -hmm. uh it has a set location. Okay. Um but yeah, like, uh, the game remembers how much damage that you've done to the roaming legendaries as you've been battling them. Um, because they always flee first chance they get, so it's an anti-frustration feature. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're going into Tin Tower in Ecritique. Um, I must ask you to leave. Ah! The sound of that clear bell. It's, it's sublime! It's godlike! It's good! Oh, there we go. <laughs> 
Um, and also, once you've seen the roaming legendary for the first time, you can actually use the Pokedex to track its location. But it's that first encounter that makes it so difficult. Anyway. Yeah, next to the burn tower in uh, Ekritik, where uh, we first awakened uh, Raikou, Entei, and Suicune, um, is the Tin Tower, where Suicune is currently located, as well as another legendary Pokemon. But first we have to fight these fucks. Beat the shit out of them. Well, beat the shit out of the Pokemon. I'm also swapped no, out. No, no, I'm no. also. <laughs> I sw yeah, no, no. Lovely. Uh, <laughs> I've also swapped out um, Jolteon with uh, Raikou completely, just because it's such a. It's just a better electric type to have. It's probably going to be one of the only times I actually do have an electric type Pokemon, or a legendary Pokemon on my team. Yeah, no, it's the only time I'm going to have an electric type. Like, for like, a, for like a. I don't usually like to use them uh, for the commentaries, um, but I I'm going to make an exception this time around just because I made the fuck up of not going for Ampharos and instead going for Jolteon. An unclassic maneuver. Well, you see, the what actually happened was that um, I made, like, what this was brought on by another mistake that I made because I forgot that Pikachu could only be caught in Kanto. Oh, oops. You know, in just about every other game except Gen Five, uh, you can you can get a Pikachu. Can you get a Pikachu in Gen Three? Yeah, I oh. it's it. I think it's nearby the Safari Zone. Oh, why can't you get one in Gen Five then? Because Gen Five only has original Pokemon. Hmm. 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 Okay. Hmm. Legend has it that they can't be huh. seen while they sleep. I mean, it's such a iconic one, you would think. Interesting. Yeah, no, they, well, they wanted... The, the thing that they were going was, like, they were trying to really capture, like, a fresh start vibe with that generation. Mm -hmm. So uh, they just created an entire new 151 Pokemon and made it the only ones that you can get through uh, normal means. Huh. Um, so, like, uh, if you wanted any other Pokemon, you'd have to uh, transfer them from previous games. I see. I never played Gen 5. Neither have I, but, you know, I just I just have that little detail in mind. I think, because I played 1 through 4. Oh, also, you were seven. talking about Gen 3, and uh, by extension, if you're playing that game's remakes, uh, you can get a Pikachu through story events. Oh. The cosplay one. And I mean, yeah, that, that Pikachu is mainly intended for contests, but, you know, you can... You can you can still, uh, use it in battle. Does it, like, have good stats for contests? I don't know. I never give a shit about stats. Oh. Well, like, no, like the... Fuck. There's, like, other stats, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, contests have its own stats. Um... Yeah, I'm not the person you want to ask about that, because I don't even bother with the contests, usually. I've only done them a couple of times. I got a lot out of it when I was playing Gen 3, not the remakes, but... I never finished the remakes, actually. I just, uh... I don't know, I just stopped playing. Like, there's not any reason, I just stopped. I, I also did that. I do that a lot with games, though. I'm really bad with that. I'm not too bad with that. Um, in fact, when like when it comes to an RPG, it usually just happens because I want to take a break because uh, something's irritate. Like like a certain part of the game's like really starting to get on my nerves, and I just really do not feel like grinding. Um, so I just decide to take a break from the game for the time being. Or or the other common reason would be a game that I was more interested in was just about to come out. A comment, yeah. Like, there are a um, lot of games that like I the Zelda Marathon. Because... The Zelda Marathon was originally also going to have a commentary of Link's Awakening in it. That ended up falling through when Persona 5 came out, and I dedicated like an entire month to that game. I remember that. Oh. You were so into that. Which I don't blame you. It seems wonderful. Yeah.
like you see, the whole reason I decided to do the Zelda common, the Zelda marathon then and there is because um, I was like right off the heels of playing Breath of the Wild as like just after it had come out, and I'm like, you know, I'm in a Zelda mood. That doesn't happen often. I should take this opportunity to record a commentary. <laughs> Did you finish it? Um. Breath of the Wild. The uh, wait, what'd you say? Did you finish Breath of the Wild? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I finished it before I started recording for the commentary. But I only went through the main story and uh, got all the memories. Oh. I didn't. I didn't bother with like the extra side quests because um, I'm not a huge Zelda fan. So like, while I'd be willing to get like every single fucking moon in Mario Odyssey, I wouldn't be willing to see what like get every Korok seed in Breath of the Wild. Uh, there's okay. So to be fair, that's like a lot of work. Yeah. I don't actually. I think there might be well, more moons. Well, well, well. Yeah, yeah, there's, I think there's more moons in uh, Mario Odyssey. Because there's about a thousand, right? Um, I think it's around 900. I think they might be around the same amount, actually. Either way, uh, at, at, by the end of the game, um, you can actually just buy an infinite amount of moons. But I mean, like, you know, you want to get all the ones that are, like, within the world at that point. Are you the trainer who is awaited by the legendary Pokemon? Wait, the wise. Oh, it's too fast. I can't read it. Why so fast? Those people who possess the power and soul of the truth. Please do go the on truth? and enter to the tin tower ahead. Suicune will put you to the test. Uh, do like they, they call themselves like wise men, right? Yeah. Don't wise people usually not call themselves wise people? Well, Is it usually others who call them that? Well, you see, they just they just did a lot of studying in college, and uh, they're really <laughs> stuck up about it. <laughs> it also might be that they're not the ones who granted themselves that title. But they're like, oh, yeah, I like it. Whoa. So yeah, here's Suicune, like, who is, I've again, it's usually another roaming legendary, but in this version of Generation 2 has a uh, set location. Look at that cape. What a hero. Yeah. Tornado hold! I am Tornado? so upset that Gabe wasn't here because he would have loved that joke. <laughs> I heard it and I was like, I'm, I'm supposed to get this. I knew it was supposed to pop up somewhere. I knew it would have popped up around here. But of course, the one person who would have gotten that is Aww. asleep. Classic Grabe. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not letting him hear the end of this. Well, of course he won't hear the end of this. He's not here for the video. How are you going to Um, okay, let me rephrase that. I am going to... I am never going to let him live it down. Okay, yeah, He's yeah, they can, still, they can still easily break free, but this game has one thing over legendary hunting in Generation 1. In Generation 1, your Pokeball could just straight up miss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that, that's not a thing here, but... You know, it's still... You still want to really stock up on Ultra Balls for these guys. 29 Ultra Balls remaining. <laughs> We're not even getting into the other two legendary Pokemon after this. Oh, my God. Just this video, or...? No. Um... I only get one more this part, and the uh, last one I get in the next part. Oh, okay. Are you just... Wow, it's... I keep trying to catch it, but it breaks free. Yeah, yeah. It's just strengthy boy, dude. Is it because its health isn't low enough? Um... Mm, it's more that uh, they want to make legendary Pokemon difficult to catch. Yeah. They're, they are just harder to catch. Like, yeah, uh, each Pokemon has, like, its own catch rate in addition. Like, uh, while, lowering its, okay. while lowering its health will raise the catch rate a little bit, um, it, they can still, like, some of them still just have really low ones. Like, let me look at Suicune's mm -hmm. for a second here. I know there are some that, like, I've definitely tried to capture a Pokemon, and it was asleep and it still broke free. Yeah. And I was like, what are you doing? What? <laughs> He's supposed to be asleep. <laughs> I think it'd be kind of neat if that, like, woke them up, you know? Yeah, well, yeah. You tried to catch a sleeping Pokemon, 
and then and then it didn't fail. It would like wake it up. Because I feel like if somebody tried to stuff me in a tiny ass ball while I was asleep, I'd probably. Oh, oh yeah. I guess it just depends on when if you wake up at the point where, like before you're completely sealed in, so you can break free. Or exactly. unless you're just super super strong and can break, whatever is trying to capture you. Break it? Well, I, technically, when you break free from a Pokeball, that I I feel like it does break. Oh, so okay. Because you can't reuse them, at least in the game. Well, my thoughts were that I could be wrong. But my my the way that I was imagining this was. You're trying to capture the Pokemon, and as it, the Pokeball is closing, it like resists it and breaks free. But who knows? Maybe um, it still breaks free. I mean, like obviously the animation doesn't show that, but from a more the, like action standpoint, that's how I was imagining, imagining it. The the picture in the anime, uh, it closes. Hmm. Yeah. And then they're and then like, it, like just pulses. kidding. I'm too strong. Yeah. No. No. The yeah. Pokeball animation looks like that only in this game. Um, I don't, I don't get, I, it, it looks weird. Anyway, uh, Suicune's catch rate is 3%. That's pretty low. And, uh, if it's at full health and you use an ordinary Pokemon, it's 0. 0.4. I mean, to be fair, who the fuck actually catches a Pokemon with full health with a regular Pokeball? Uh, you know. Maybe I if it's like a Metapod? <laughs> Actually, my sister caught Mewtwo with a Pokeball. At not full health, but near full health. It was hmm. like one of those, like, it was like one of those one in a million chances. Yeah, she, I, she got lucky. Jeez. I always use the Master Ball on Mewtwo. It's just like, you know, it's... Mewtwo is so hard to catch. <laughs> and I mean, it, it knows recover as well, so. Yeah. Mewtwo's kind of a bitch. Yeah, he can really take Mewtwo a hell of- has, like, thighs of steel. He does. He has thunder thighs. Yeah. <laughs> All capitals. Wait, but that's not Raikou, it's Suicune. Oh, I thought you were talking about Mewtwo. Oh. I was talking about Mewtwo. Oh, okay, yeah, Mewtwo. okay. Yeah, my, my, has my joke, fa thighs. My yeah. joke <laughs> failed. Hyper potion. You, 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 you see, uh, Gygus, uh, decided to, uh, really bulk up his, uh, leg muscles and then, uh, changed his name to Mewtwo. I bet. It's not just thunder thighs, it's like entire thunderstorm thighs. Thunderstorm <laughs> thighs. <laughs> Wait, where there's thunder, there's lightning. So what's the counterpart? It's the lightning counterpart to thunder thighs. Um... The penis. Oh, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> the dick is the lightning rod. Oh! What? Hey, man, you can't say that on TV. <laughs> Boy, we're not on TV. <laughs> Unless someone has their device plugged into a television when they're watching. Which I highly doubt, but... It auto-censors itself if you do that. <laughs> 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 Hey, that's we did it! it comes from. Oh, and the Woo! football changed color. Well, that's just, it does that when you catch it. All right, let's yes. see. This divine Pokemon blows around the world. It's very dense. Whoa. It gets around. Always in search of a pure reservoir. Hmm, you should what name, are you gonna it. name it. Wait, what? I didn't bother. Aww. Oh, okay. That means it just awesome. tastes too awesome, even. Ho oh. <laughs> ho. I've never seen rest. a battle that great. That was truly inspiring to see. Really, like, 70% of the time I was just throwing Pokeballs. <laughs> it's called, um, a strategy, Evan? Suicune was tough, but you were even more incredible, Laura. I heard Suicune's mystic power summons a rainbow-colored Pokémon. Maybe, just maybe, what went on today will cause that Pokémon to appear. I'm going to study the legends more. Thanks for showing me that fantastic battle. Later, Laura! Schoolboy Jack. Hey, our what boy. the fuck? 
Did you know? If your opponent uses Dig, Earthquake becomes more powerful. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you just like you just caught like one of the most powerful Pokemon like in the region, and some kids just like, hey. Did you know? <laughs> <laughs> The music changed, and so I thought that Will changed it by like. Will has the power. <laughs> to... Will has the power to change the music. <laughs> I did. That was me, dude. Like... All right. So anyway, now we're going to scale up uh, Tin Tower so that we can get the next legendary Pokemon known as Ho Oh. It, it, it's a bird. It's a rainbow bird. Hmm. This is strange music. Yeah, it's supposed to be all mystic and shit. It is. Oh. That's fair. <laughs> Are we Rainbow Dash now? Is that Rainbow... <laughs> is that Rainbow Wings supposed to attract the... Rainbow Bird? What'd you say it was called? Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh. H-O-Dash-O-H. <laughs> Dude, this is... The first parkour course. <laughs> it is! Look at that! Never forget your roots. We're just like hurdles. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are hurdles tracks just... really dumbed down parkour? <laughs> parkour is just advanced hurdles. <laughs> parkour is advanced hurdles. Alright, so I'm just letting you guys know now... A Spicy good, hurdles! A good... The next, like, 15 minutes of the video are just climbing up the tower. Dude, I'm ready. That really the That building is swaying. Cause like, uh... Yeah. Cause like, um... I remember I took- It took me a while to figure out how exactly to go about this. Just cause... It's one of those things that's like... You, you can't remember how to do it, right? <laughs> like... Ouch. No, I know what you mean. I was playing Ham Taro Ham Ham Heartbreak yesterday with my friend, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I played that game. I've completed it, like, 12 times, and there are still parts that I don't remember exactly how to get. Like, I have the plot and the order of things ingrained into my mind, but sometimes I forget the little steps to get there, so I know where I need to go, but I don't exactly remember how to get there, and then I get myself stuck. Oh, yeah, like, I get, like... Regarding um, A Link to the Past, uh, when I recorded it for the commentary, um, I actually had to use a guide for some of the later dungeons because I forgot how to go through them. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to just record me wandering around a lot. Um, <laughs> it's my favorite game in the series, but I still need that every now and then. Just Yeah. Um, especially like the last one, Turtle Rock, which is kind of... It can go on forever if you're not careful. Party Rock? Sure will. In the house tonight? Party rock? I... In my house? It's, it's more likely, likely, than, it's more you likely than you think. <laughs> <laughs> what a great... What a, a great... great... Just a good... A good great. in the world. Oh, thanks. Not you, Carrie. Just a joke. <laughs> right. I want some, like, archaeologist to be studying, like, interactions between people. Like, now, like, they'll study our interactions now, but they are, like, a hundred years in the future, and they're like, wow, people were fucking assholes to each other. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll conclude that based on our interactions and not based on all of the war and violence that happens in the world. <laughs> well, but war and violence happens all the time. Yeah. Yes. Like, I can't... It's almost traditional. Yeah, I, I can't possibly imagine living in a world without war and violence. Like, there was no way that there was going to be a point in the time where just every single person out there was a decent person. 
Yeah, one can wish. Well, that can happen if there's one person. I feel huh. like that's definitely possible. <laughs> Although you have, you either have a zero percent failure rate or a one hundred percent failure rate, so. Like, I mean, I, I mean, I guess what I, I guess what I said is a bit on the pessimistic side, but I just cannot, in my right mind, just imagine a world where every single person is a decent person. I can feel that. It is a little pessimistic. I feel like that fact doesn't prevent people from having hope, though. I think that's the part that that's the part that separates real pessimists from like people who are just being realistic, you know. Yeah. And then there's also cynics, who I feel like are people who have had so much hope that they've had completely destroyed, and they cope by becoming cynics. Yeah, yeah. Cynicism's a weird school. I feel like cynics are just hurt idealists. I've heard that before. Have you? Is that from something? Is it? Is it? I don't know. It might be. I mean, Feels like it. that's my conclusion about cynics, but I might, maybe someone else has come to that conclusion as well. Maybe uh, Carrie was the writer for something and she doesn't remember it. Oh, that's very <laughs> likely. I don't remember much. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie's actually like a world-renowned philosopher. Oh. She just doesn't remember. And she like she's like uh like imagine it's like a quote from a book and she spent like six months writing that book and she now doesn't remember any of it. <laughs> she, but she just like had a premonition. She had like a premonition. She remembered one quote from it. <laughs> that does not sound unlikely. This is really good lore for Smash Team games. <laughs> Smash Team games lore. I'm to add that to our folder. Let's keep in one, right? Wait, sorry, you cut out a bunch, what'd you say? So we you need to add that me. to our folder. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone's keeping one, a, right? I'll write an anthology. <laughs> can you guys hear me mixing? A little. I can hear something, but I wouldn't have concluded that it was mixing. Had you not mentioned something? Oh my god, this fork is way better than my whisk, dude. What are you mixing? Um... Melted animal fat and spices. Hmm, fair. What are you doing with it? Making gravy. Nice. Actually, it's not melted animal fat. I made it from a mix. To be fair, forks are really good at whisking, I feel like, because you have a lot of control. But it still has the separate tongs to break things up. Yeah. Well, I just I use my my um whisk a bunch, but I think I've used it too much and it's kind of rusted now. I guess I didn't get a stainless steel one. Why would you even? Uh oh, my biscuits are burning. Oh no, they're perfect. Oh no, they're perfect. <laughs> Wait, oh no. I know. I I, I see what I see how you meant to okay. phrase that, but still. Okay, good. <laughs> oh no, they're perfect. <laughs> Hope I accidentally built a shelf. <laughs> oh no. Um, what was that? Um, Netflix has that baking show. It's called like Nailed It or something. And it's just like they get people who have no fucking clue what they're doing on a baking show, like a comp like a baking competition show. Oh my god. Uh, and it's always just like really bad. Um, Naturally. And, um... <laughs> that's probably... That's probably, uh... Something just happened on the show. Somebody, like, accidentally makes something really awesome and they're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> well, maybe the, the oh no part of that would be, oh man, I made something really good, but it was an accident, so I don't know how I did it, so I can't do it again. That is, that is an unfortunate... Because I feel like it's still a, a traditional baking show, like, the best product continues on. I feel like it'd be kind of a fun show. Yeah. To be on. Although, I've discussed with, with my, a bunch of my friends as of recently, so I have two, like, low-key dreams that I don't, like, actually think are ever gonna come true, but I would love them to. 
One is to become a folk singer, like everyone else, of course. Um, and the next is to be a contestant on Jeopardy. I would fucking love. How good at it would Jeopardy you be? Contestant. Oh, I would love uh, to see you on Jeopardy. I would probably get second place. <laughs> so you entirely I, I, I'm assuming you're banking on one person being a fucking idiot. There's always a fucking idiot. God, okay. I hope yeah. I'm not the fucking idiot. <laughs> You know that that that'd be that'd be that'd be uh, considering that Will's kind of like the smart guy on the show. That'd be a lot to take in. No, what? That I'm the fucking idiot on yeah. Jeopardy. Yeah. <laughs> oof. Oof. <laughs> Make the rest of us look even stupider than we already were. Looks like I've been to Jupiter to get more stupid. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm Will. Who am I? <laughs> Hi, I'm Carrie. Hey, Carrie, how's it going? Yeah. Hi, I'm Gina. I'm calling. I'm calling the trainer's phone. She's a picnicker. I love how that's her title. Yeah. I want to be known as a picnicker. I feel as long like as it can be under a tree in the shade. You have the power. I, I feel like I feel like you'd have to go outside a lot. You would. Which I, to be honest, I love being outside. I just don't like it when it's really sunny. Or really smoky like it is right now. Seriously, the smoke is destroying me. Dude, yesterday in so my area, smoky. in my area, the smoke has been very on and off in how it's been. Like, I mean, like you yesterday it was really bad. Today it wasn't too bad. It's like, it, yeah, it's been That's, very. No, it's absolutely clear where I am. But yesterday it was really bad. Yeah, it's mm. been very on and off for me. It's kind of strangey, if you ask me. Strangey. Yeah. Okay. It's been an unhealthy levels where I live for the past couple of days, and, and it, so has it been consistent in that? Yeah, yeah, it has it's really been getting to me. Ah, that sucks. I'm looking for a bowl big enough for my biscuits and gravy. Ooh, good luck. <sighs> I made too many biscuits. <sighs> Why'd you make yeah, so many biscuits? Well? Get them too. Oh. What'd you say, Evan? Why'd you make so many biscuits? Um, I thrive in chaos. You thrive in chaos. <laughs> this is too many biscuits already, I think. I'm gonna be probably fucking full. Well, you don't have to eat them all. No. That oh, I'm definitely not gonna eat them all. <laughs> I don't think you understand. I made, I made two and a half dozen biscuits. That's... When I make biscuits, it's fucking pipe down time. Yeah, you you make biscuits for it. <laughs> you know, like honestly though, like regarding the whole uh, wildfire smoke situation, like up in Oregon, it's like uh, summers didn't used to be this bad. This is the second no. year in a row it's happened. No, it's been, uh, we've had more wildfires as of recently. Mm -hmm, so many more. I mean, I, 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 I know, know I know the one last year. year was, well, last year was thanks to some teenagers being fucking idiots, but. Well, yeah, that combining with a lot of other wildfires everywhere, too. But yeah, we did have that one big one right, right by us. Mm -hmm. It was honestly an awesome time. Was it really? No. It was the worst experience I've ever had. It's, ter it's been terrible lately, though. I've been breaking out in hives because of the, the Whoa, air. Beehives are just forming. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie has beehives on her face. <laughs> like on my arms and legs. Ugh. Dude, really yesterday I was on a bike ride, and uh... Carrie's covered in bees. A bee? Somebody say bees! <laughs> A bee flew at my face. <laughs> I was wearing sunglasses and it hit my, it hit like the bridge uh -huh. of the sunglasses, and it, and it knocked the bee out. <laughs> oh. like, <gasps> the bee was like, it like landed on my leg, and I was like, "What?" I was like, "Ah, oh, man, there's a dead bee on my leg." And what, then the bee like oh, God, woke up and like started walking around, and I was like, "The bee didn't die; it just passed it out." <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I was going, like, really fast, and the bee was probably going, like, 
mock B speeds. Mock, mock B speeds. <laughs> Mock B. Oh, yeah. B. The B equivalent of the speed of sound. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because you know bees can't go as fast as people. I think, I think, I think, I think we found our episode title for uh, this Mock one. B. Mock B. <laughs> Mock B. But anyway, so I mean that was just a wild experience, just like having a bee pass out on my life. <laughs> yeah, because I picked up a nugget. I get it. I love that meme. That meme, that's such a good one. <laughs> I still have no idea where I'm going. Ooh, a max revive. Good. 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 Max revives are always good. Who's Max? Wait. Remember that episode of The Simpsons? Max? <laughs> When Homer saw the, the dial thing at the nuclear control console and it was like Max Power and he's like, that's a good name. And so he, he legally changed his name to Max Power. Yeah. And a bunch of good stuff started <laughs> happening to him. To be fair, to be fair, this is right after um, that same episode. This was like right after a new TV show came on with a character named Homer Simpson who was a bumbling idiot. And it was embarrassing him. Oh. Sorry, I had like, I had some weird disassociation going on. You were like, a new TV show came out, and I was like, oh, like, another one. And then you were like, with the main character named Homer Simpson, and I was like, <laughs> that kind of tripped me up for a bit too. No, it was like it was like a cop show that came on, and one of the characters in the cop show was named Homer Simpson. It's like in the pilot, he looked super cool, but then in the actual show, it looked like he was a, he was an idiot, and Homer was all embarrassed <laughs> about that. Show. Anyway, yeah, it's time to fight the legendary Pokemon Ho-Oh. He looks kind of mad. Well, I I feel like uh, I, I feel like I'd be mad too if some if some kid just came into the place that I was resting in order to kidnap me. You know when you put it like that, it seems really <laughs> feathers. Wow, those tail feathers, cheese. Birds have feathers. What? But I mean, those tail feathers are very circular. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And in the Pokédex entry, it says ho -Oh, the circle Pokémon. Nobody's even going to comment on it. I didn't have anything to say! I didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is where so here this is this is how you reply to somebody and you don't know how to reply to them Kelly say something something no say like a sentence um I'm currently doing commentary of Pokemon Crystal part 57 <laughs> I'm creative great use, great use of the present tense wow yeah you know <laughs> thanks well aww <laughs> Somebody in my, I was in a German grammar class, and somebody in the in the class posted Guys, on Gabe's a forum, here. and they just said, "Gabe's here." Gabe's here. Mike's mic's off though. Uh, his mic's off, but he is here. He's finally awake. Um, I will tell him the time, but I'm also still irritated that he missed out on a certain edit. Uh, I mean, I, I we say. We have like two minutes left on this. We should probably just wait until the next part for him to join. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You know, carry good use of the subjunctive mood. The <laughs> mood. Yeah, mood. Moob. Mood, so tense, and aspect are the holy trinity of um of sentence structures. Oh, that's fair. We are still throwing ultra balls at this buck. <laughs> He's a par. He's on par, dude. That's why you can't kill him. That's why you can't catch him, dude. He's on par. I'm just gonna say this now. Um, it is gonna take like two more minutes for uh, for us to catch him. All right. So everybody, bust out your best tangents because it's a whole two minutes. <laughs> 
So yesterday, I was riding my bike. Wow. I you ride a bike a lot, so don't you? I do. Does you know your mom know that you're riding your like... bike on your own? Hey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> only, only sometimes. Um. So. I was riding my bike, and so you know, last commentary, I was like, "Ooh, I went on a big bike ride today. I rode 25 miles." Wow. I yeah. rode 40 miles yesterday. 40 miles. Wow. That's more than I biked to the 39. town over. It is. It's um, but I didn't bring enough two. water. I almost had fucking heat stroke. It was bad. Um, oh god. But I'm good. Jeez, dude. I drank a lot of water slowly in the shade, and I recovered. No, good. but if you if you use healing alpha, you can get rid of heat stroke. It's only it only costs it only costs four PP. Poop. Poop. Four poop. 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 We got him. Yeah, we got we we got him. It will reveal itself before a pure-hearted trainer by shining its bright rainbow-colored wings. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> Wow, that, that 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 was a talk directly into the mic moment that you just did, Will. <laughs> Maybe there will be another one next time on Smash Team Games. Hey. God. Wait, is the next time on Smash Team Games? Yeah. God, I just realized this episode's going to be a pain in the ass to edit. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Because it's so All long. All right, hey, can I swap over to my computer? Sure.